So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone. Today we will be covering uh, yet another use case using multi agent orchestration that is code reviewer. So in this case, what I would try to do. I will create two agents, one who is a coder and other who, is, who would be reviewing the code. And eventually the reviewer would be giving some feedback on the code. The coder would be incorporating those feedback, coming back with the revised version of the code. And the code reviewer would again be giving some feedback on the revised code. So this entire iteration would go on until unless either we hit a threshold of iterations or there are no further feedbacks given by the code reviewer. So this can be a very great tool which can be incorporated to improve your code quality gradually and incrementally. So let's get started. So before we jump on to, I'll just show you the results that I got. So basically I started, I tested it out on this particular prompt. So instead of giving the code, I generated that code also. Like I was trying to generate a code to train a regression ML model following uh, all the required pre-processing steps. So this was the code generated. As you can see, it is able to do some sort of pre-processing also, doing a train test split and then evaluating the model training the model, all the basic stuff is done. Now we will be feeding this model to our code reviewer system where the reviewer would be reviewing this code, giving a feedback and the coder would be reiterating over the code to improve it depending upon the feedback. If you look into the results, it's working fine. Here you can see the entire history. So reviewers are suggesting some feedback that these are the potential bugs that can be present. The coder is again is incorporating those and then representing it to the reviewer. The reviewer is again reviewing it and then and again giving a feedback. Now this is the interesting part. I'm comparing the code also. So the actual code that we started off was rated 7 by 10 by the LLM and eventually the revised code has 9 on 10. And this is because uh, I stopped uh, the, the, the iteration hit a threshold. Hence it was not completed. But if we, I remove that threshold filter, I think we this would be a 10 on 10 code just for demonstration purposes. Apart from that, I'm also adding a functionality to rate the coder so that uh, eventually we can understand how good the coder is. Lesser number of iteration would be meaning uh, a good coder, uh, more number of bugs coming into the first round and then a number of iteration going on might decrease his rating. This is my assumption. So this is the revised code that you can see that is generated and looks pretty good. As you can see, if you have forgotten the first version, it was not including any logger stuff. We have got a logger now. A lot of logging is done. It is trying to handle some try and accept cases if the table is not found. So this is looking a way matured version of the code and looks deployable. So let's get started. So this would be the logic that I would be following using Lang Graph. So I think you have been following my previous videos also on Lang Graph, uh, where I've already covered debate application, uh, movie scene scripting, interview application and this is now a code review application. So we will start with the handle reviewer. So before starting the Lang Graph, we would be feeding the code snippet that we have generated. This is not the part of Lang Graph. I could have made it, but for now it is not. So once the code is generated, it the first step is it goes to the reviewer. The reviewer gives some feedback and then eventually it goes to this particular section, whether the code is deployment ready or not. If the code is not deployment ready, that means it's uh, the feedback that has been given aren't incorporated. It goes to the coder. The coder revises the code and again sends it back to the reviewer. The reviewer again gives some feedback and if there are no further feedbacks, it will go to handle result where we will be rating the code and comparing the code versions else it will again be going to handle coder. This entire cycle will go on until we either hit a threshold of uh, that I have set as uh, five iterations or there are no further feedbacks given. So let's get started now understanding the code. So in this case, I'm using the Gemini API by Google. So this is free to create. You can also use it else. If you wish to use Olama in my previous videos, I have covered how Olama can be used. So not an issue. Now, once I'm able to set up my LLM object, this is the graph state class that I'm de uh, this is declaring, which has all the state variables that are getting used in Lang Graph. So if you're new to Lang Graph, uh, so I would suggest you to or kindly check back my previous videos on Langar for beginners and other basic tutorials that I've uh, shared 
for the debate application for the interview application for a better understanding state graph variables are basically variables that are available throughout the graph execution so we'll be using some of these feedback some of the important ones being feedback would be given by the reviewer for the code history will store all the conversation happening code would be the revised code that is getting sent specialization is specialization of the coder and the reviewer so right now it is same so if you mention python python would be become their specialization and the review would be done based on that rating uh, it is the coder rating that eventually the lm would be giving iteration total number of uh, code review iterations that has done so far code compare will store the results for the base code version that we sent and the revised code version that we got in the end of the graph and actual code is basically the first version that we sent now once this is done these are a few set of prompts that i'm using uh, you are free to uh, change this this is just a baseline prompts i haven't tuned them yet but this is just to give an idea key how i'm making my agents so this is the prompt for you getting used for the reviewer you are a code reviewer specialized in dash so where the specialization would go say it you are specialized in python you need to review the given code following pepit's guidelines and potential bug and point out issues as bullet list and then i'm passing the code similarly you are a coder specialized in dash this is for the coder part improve the given code given the following guidelines the guidelines would be the feedback that the reviewer would be giving here i am entering the code so i am passing the guidelines and i am passing the code also the current code what to improve on output just the improved code rating is basically rate the skills of the coder uh, given the code review entire conversation that has happened and code compare compare the two code snippets and rate on a scale of 10 so basically the last version and the first version i'm trying to compare to get an idea ki how much have we improved classify feedback are all feedback mentioned resolved in the code output yes or no so this is something that we would be following in this particular conditional edge to know whether all the feedbacks that a uh, that the reviewer has mentioned are made or not so if they are not incorporated it would be again going into reiteration so if you have been following my previous videos basically uh, any function that is starting with handle i'm assuming uh, assume it to be the node of the graph so handle reviewer will basically what it will do it will generate the review for the code that we have sent so we are loading a few variables as you can see history the total con the entire conversation that has happened so far the code current code specialization of the reviewer and total iterations done so far and then we are feeding these variables into the review start prompt to get a review and then updating the variables the history variable is now adding the feedback the feedback is separately maintained also and the iteration is done a plus one handle coder similar on the above grounds no major changes we are loading some of the required variables history feedback code specialization and then filling these values into a code start prompt to get the revised code now using the feedback given and the third note that we are adding is a handle result so once we have hit the threshold mark or uh, all, all the feedback has been incorporated eventually we will be comparing the two code versions and rating the coder in this particular section handle result now we are adding these three nodes into the workflow the graph object uh, if you if you are not able to understand any of the variables uh, do check out my previous videos on lang graph that would be really helpful now this is the place where i am mentioning the condition for the graph ki when should we stop so there are two conditions that i am mentioning and if any of them is fulfilled we will stop on the code review part so if all the feedback has been incorporated or if we have hit a threshold of five iterations so they have been five iterations of code review and still uh, or not all the feedback has been incorporated in that case also we will stop for now but you can easily eliminate this if you are using for a real world problem once this is done i'm adding a conditional h to this conditional graph as you uh, to this graph as you can see so after the reviewer has given his review we'll check the code for whether the code is deployment ready or not by using the review that the coder has given so if the review looks positive if he has not mentioned any further issues in the code uh, we would be going to handle result we would be handling the code the final version of the code the code comparison and the rating for the review coder else we will again go back to the coder for rewriting the code we are adding the edges here entry point would be handle reviewer as you can see the first edge 
handle coder and handle reviewer this is the second edge that we are mentioning and handle result to end this is the third edge mentioning and these two edges are going into the conditional edge part we are done i think it's very similar to the one that we have made for the debit application and less complex also now we need to workflow dot compile that is done and then need to pass out some basic variables for the uh, execution so history we are sending the first code version that we have generated using the llm generate a code to train a regression model as i already told you code equals to code actual code is also equal to code so code would be updating for every iteration but actual code would remain the same and history would be appending all the code versions that are getting generated specialization is the variable python most probably have sent especially i haven't sent anything but this would be python and then iterations equals to 0 do remember to set this part recursion limit equals to 100 else you won't be able to generate long conversations and here you can see that the review is taking place we got a history here you can see that all the code versions that are generated given the feedback are present in the history code comparison rating as we have already discussed so this is how you can improve your code quality massively as i can see as you also saw in the starting how the code the two code versions that are generated are of different qualities and the revised version looks very very good in terms of uh, deployment sense also because it is able to handle exceptions it is handling logging also which was not in the first part so this is how you can improve your code using multi agent orchestration for code reviews thank you